Hello everyone, this is Jam764, and welcome to, uh, well, I guess an update video for Train Fever. Now, I won't be recording a full episode due to the fact that I got some stuff to do, but, um, the game actually updated, uh, earlier today, and they finally, oh my goodness, they finally added that one feature I was waiting for, for the longest. I mean, they didn't add the feature I wanted the most, which would be an uh, in-game map editor. But I mean, this one comes in a pretty close second, if you ask me. Now, what is that exactly? Well, I'll just have to show you, won't I? So, let me, uh... Oh, whoops. <laughs> Y'all don't need to see Task Manager. <laughs> Oopsie. Eh. Don't feel like editing. Okay. Oh well. So let me load up a map. Uh, this one, I guess. Be inaccurate on the load. I don't know if the game volume. And if you probably hadn't guessed, yes, this is my phenom I'm using. Uh, for a moment earlier, I thought I had fixed the problem with the i7, but it just refused. It, it just doesn't want to work. I don't understand why. I mean, the game runs beautifully, despite having a far worse graphics card on it. But, um, it, the game just, it just refuses. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, there you go. Or not. No, I'm losing frames. Okay, there they go. Now the game's just being slow. Oh boy. And... See, there's a difference between your computer running at, like, maximum power and running at, like, no stress at all, there being lag. Humongous difference, I assure you. When I play this off recording, it works perfectly fine. When I play it on recording, it dies. Speaking of which, my hard drive's here. I mean, not literally, hopefully, but as far as recording right now, but just... Hold on a sec, guys. Yeah, the problem is... Yep, there you are. Off. Oh. That should fix... Oh, yeah, that's it. That's better. Bad enough, it's already slower than the i7, but make it even slower is really And I've heard people have been having a lot of performance issues, which, well, outside from me recording, I haven't seen any at all. Well, no, I take it back, my laptop has issues with the game, the game the laptop, of all things. I mean, my netbook, hilariously, when I say netbook, it's actually too... Uh, the Asus, I think it's uh, T100, like the most basic one you can get. That one, uh, well, just, it, it can run the game amazingly. I mean, I don't think it fits the minimum requirements at all, as far as the graphics goes. And its RAM is just barely enough to run it and Windows at the same time. But I mean, it runs laggy, and I would say it's laggy like this, just not so much. And speaking of which, I'm gonna turn off the preview. So I know how you guys are seeing. Also, it improves performance a little bit. Of course, this means if anything happens to recording, uh, I won't be able to see it. Hopefully not. Now you probably are wondering why I jumped all the way up to 1986. Well, that's because they added one more thing. It is a bus. Yeah, you can tell it's kind of late right now. But uh, yeah, here we go. The Man SL 192. From 1972 to 1998. It's the bus I've been waiting for forever because after this one, there's like no buses until, well, the one in that comes out in the, like, I think, late 90s. So yeah, 
a nice little thing to have. I haven't tested it out yet, so yeah, you guys get to see it, me test it for the first time. I'm gonna have it here, and I meant to press. I need to find a line. Or not. Line is Line... Three. This is just for demonstration. Even this. Just look at this. That, my friend, is a bus. And a bunch of lag to accompany it. But that's to be expected by now, you guys. Uh, if only the Phenom had a better process. That's why I got the i7, but then the i7 doesn't want to process right. The game will be running just fine. You guys saw. Well, no. You guys couldn't see it because you know, we're seeing the bad frame. But it was running perfectly fine for me. And there it goes. It'd be nice if I found a way to reduce the uh, view usage for my fin on, but unfortunately, there's no real way to do it while recording. Oh well. Yeah, this is our new bus, which is going to get stuck in indefinite traffic because I really cared about the cars in this map, as you guys have probably seen in earlier episodes. First season. Well, yeah, it's, it's, this was doomed to begin with. But it's a pretty nice bus from what I've seen do in the past couple of seconds. Uh, it'd be nice just to see it has passengers. Oh well. Anyway, back to the most important thing. Probably should have. They added waypoints. And oh my gosh, they're awesome. And not only did they add waypoints, you can now make signals waypoint. Before I do any of that, I'm going to build some waypoints this. I haven't tested these out either. And I hope the game doesn't die. That would be horrible. Just going to have some waypoints in and some on this side just for fun. Probably. This also means you can make working yards, even though, well, no real point in this game at least. I'm gonna have those there. Anyway, there we go. So we have some waypoints, which have their own little unique icon, I guess. And yeah, that should do it. Let's find a train. So let's find two trains. What are you? Are you a cargo train? I want a cargo train specifically coming through the side. You guys will know why. But, uh... Where is it? Oh, it's you, isn't it? I think it's you. Go to... Pretty sure you're the one. Yeah, you're the one who goes through here. Good. Yeah. Do something for me. So, I'm gonna show off waypoints. Let me go to the line editor. Line 23. And let's make a waypoint. Now, when I originally designed this tunnel over here, and then added the two sections, I specifically wanted the outer sections to be for freight trains and the inner for passengers. But as you can see here, that just doesn't happen, at least not with the freight. All of them take the inside one, and I hate that. That makes this entire side new, regardless. So I'm going to fix that. Y'all probably want. How? Well, guys, I like this. I'm gonna take.
take a station. And... Huh. Oh, well. Click that signal. Oops. Set it up right. Are you set up right? Okay, I guess I do need the waypoint. Never mind. So where you could use normal signals at points. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. But, uh... There. That should do it. That. That's it. Oh, I didn't hit add. Failed. Can I add you? I could. But, uh... Too late now. But there we go. Waypoint. And... I botched it. Load if available. There we go! Now, next time it comes through, it should take the unused tunnel. Oh my gosh. Lag. Lag. Ugh. Why? Ah! That's because I'm centering that. Stupid. Thing. Where's the train? That's what I needed. Okay. It's gonna ride you at a horrible frame rate. I hope that the game doesn't do anything stupid. But yeah, waypoints are finally in the game and they fixed at least one bug, supposedly, that I never experienced because, well, for some weird reason, minus my gaming laptop, uh, I don't really have any issues running the game. Outside of trying to record it at the same time. So yeah, this trail will just go all the way around. Whenever it gets there. I mean, I still want my map editor. Multiplayer would also be nice, but I mean, I can wait a long time for that. Heck, I didn't even know my, some of my favorite games even had multiplayer until, like, their servers basically died. Even room taken with me. Look them up. Where if I had known, I would have been playing everyone. Which was like maybe two people. But still. Anyway, so we're riding in the station at this horrendous frame rate. But hey, it's constant. Like my fan off. Um, no, this is the fan off. Yeah. Unlike the i7, which it just is all over. And. Poor fan off. I'm wondering, if I take the graphics card out of my Phenom and stick it in my i7, if that will improve anything. I doubt it. But I mean, it's worth a shot. I used to have a Radeon HD 4870, but some happened to it and it just basically died. Which sucks, because it was a very good card to me. I think slightly better than the A460. Galaxy C Plus Edition uh, 264 uh, NVIDIA G4 I had if that was a mouthful, but that's basically what it is. And it was an awesome car despite the fact it had no HDMI ports. Which I mean I have an adapter. No HDMI ports. Oh well. Part that really sucks though is I wanted to put in my third gaming rig, which I had planned to sell, but oh well. And yeah, finally, we're using this tunnel that no one ever uses. So, uh, I, I guess that's mission complete. Now that way we'll be for passenger trains and tunnels will still be blocked on the inside, unfortunately. I guess they haven't done anything about in tunnel signals yet. Wish I had passenger like right behind me just test it out. Oh well. And I pretty much know what's gonna happen. Oh well. Uh the frame rate. Uh 
mean, OBS has different ways of which it can remove stuff. Unfortunately, my FinOp can't use any of those ways because well, he doesn't have a NVIDIA GeForce 260 or greater. No, not 260, no. Uh, 660, I think it was. One of the 600 series cards, I believe. That has the option, and anything past that, obviously, record from the card instead of the processor. It doesn't have a stupid Intel graphics chip either, so yeah, AMD's kind of doomed, according to Parkman. But I mean, I'm pretty sure it would do fine if it was a better processor. If there wasn't so much junk running in the background, consistently. I mean. Oh well. But yeah, this train made it through the waypoint all right, so I yeah. I I, I guess that will um prove things. Change the other train. I'm not saving this map, it doesn't matter. Oh so yeah, waypoints and a new bus, um, were pretty much the things I was asking for, at least recently. Uh, it'd still be nice to have a map editor player, but, again, I can wait. I mean, I waited for years just to have a game just like this, you know, well, yeah, it has its flaws, but, uh, not as many as some of the other recent maps create. Yeah, transfer genre. Mm. Traffic is always a nightmare in this game, even with the patch, I mean. Just, uh, uh, uh. Oh, well. Uh, I want to see something. I haven't even tested out the traffic properly. I'm gonna upgrade. Likes being different. Oh well. I see this bus do something. Then I'll end the video. That car disappeared. Thin air, because that's what cars do in this game. Oh well. I think I might do a more advanced demonstration, you know. Well, <laughs> well <laughs> when I actually get around to properly recording a uh, Let's Play Train Fever episode, it's for waypoints. I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, wait, never mind. It's just real. Oh, the processor is basically on 100 uh, Oh, well. No. Compared to 32-bit, I really don't see the game using much more than RAM. I mean, sure it does since it's a large map, and I'm probably sure it would use more if I expanded to, like, everything. But then, I mean, what's the point if the game's just gonna die at this rate? I mean, sure, if I used the i7, it'd be fine, but the game would still die at least recording. Oh well. Yeah, this bus ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Eh, that's... that's important. These guys don't know how to drive. Ah, oh, well. Yeah, I, I guess I'll just end the episode here. I mean, there's nothing really different in the update compared to the last besides waypoints. But, uh, yeah. So I guess until next time, guys, uh, this has been JM764, and see y'all in the next episode.